When I discuss atheism with what I would might call hard atheists or even anti-theists, I ask them the question, what is this God thing that you don't believe in? And it's not so much that I'm trying to fiddle with words, it's just I'm trying to see if I can compare their definition of God with a definition of God subscribed to by someone who believes in God, someone who is a theist as opposed to an atheist or an anti-theist. Um, I think that the atheist, sort of hard atheist kind of argument falls down at that point because it's hard to know whether or not you're strawmanning a theist when you start saying, whatever he believes, I don't believe in, because that's a vacuous statement unless you know what the other guy believes. I'd say the same thing about free will. Um, as a thought experiment, I would ask anyone who sort of determinedly, <laughs> or deterministically, denies free will, if they have an idea as to what say a proponent of free will would mean when they're talking about free will. Um, again, it's not definitions here that I'm referring to. I'm talking about the actual concept of itself. Um, thought experiment for anti-free will types. What, in your opinion, would free will actually look like? Let's not get into a burden of proof thing here. I just want to clarify what a determinist or a hard determinist would say uh, that they are actually denying exists. I don't think that that's unreasonable. This is why, again, I tend to sort of shy away from the debate in the first place. I think that the will is a compelling concept, but whether or not it's free, <sighs> define freedom. Uh, you know, I know I hate to say that, but it, it inevitably, in my opinion, boils down to that. What would free will actually look like if it did exist, even in a thought experiment? 